welcome to Z Levine. If you're new, welcome. I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure you hit that bell. That way, YouTube will notify you every single time I put out a new video. Today, I'm super excited to share a What's in My Bag featuring this cutie right here. It is the Christian Dior saddle bag. This is the vintage bag, so it's not the new saddle bags that they launched and re-released uh, recently. This is actually when they had them like years ago, back in the late 1990s, early 2000s. So yeah, I'm so excited to have one, especially now since the prices seriously skyrocketed. I believe the this size they are selling um, for like almost three grand or maybe over three grand, and the mini size is over two grand. So it's like insane. I didn't get this bag for nowhere close that price point. Um, so this makes me even love the bag even more. Um, nonetheless, I do feel like those prices are justified because I do feel like this is now, especially since they re-released it, an iconic bag that will always come back. Whether it leaves again, it will for sure always come back. So I do feel like they were spot on with their price point. Just a little overview of the bag. It is black with uh, silver hardware. It's like a silver gray hardware, if that makes any sense. I'll do a close up and you guys will see it's pretty much silver. You have the D right here and this part is Velcro. And when you open it up, this is what it looks like inside, oop, inside the bag. And I will get into the bag in just a second. The sides have the CD with um, Christian Dior on the inside right here. And then again, CD on this side. The back is like a button snap closure like that. And this is where I usually hold my phone in this back pocket. And yeah, I absolutely love it. I'm so happy to bring this baby out. The newer ones, they do have like separate straps that they sell. Um, so I've been looking into possibly getting a strap for it so that I could wear it crossbody. I feel like it looks really, really cute crossbody. Um, you could also hold it like as a clutch, kind of like that, or underneath your arm, on the crook of your arm, which is how I usually wear it, like on the crook, or just held like this. And you can also wear it as a shoulder bag. So plenty of ways to wear this bag. I love it. It looks like a saddle. The detail is amazing. And yeah, I'm ready to get started and share with you guys what all I have currently in this bag. So again, as you open it up, here is everything inside. And let's start with what's poking out first. I have my Hermes Bastia change purse and it is in the noir or black color. Shake it like a salt figure, shake it like a salt figure. And as you can see, I have a bunch of change in here. Um, love this piece. It's probably one of my favorite SLGs of all time. Love it, super functional, and I just am so crazy about the design. Next up I have, I will do both of these at the same time. Um, my Christian Dior lipstick and Christian Dior gloss. This is the lip maximizer and this Dior lipstick is in one of my favorite lipsticks ever, number 006 Nude Fever. I've mentioned this uh, lipstick in several past videos. And yeah, I just, I love it so much. Next up in my bag is hair ties. So I always carry around several hair ties with me because it's summertime and gets hot and I like to eventually just put my hair up in a ponytail and sometimes these pop so I always keep at least two just to be safe in case I really need it or if my daughter needs a hair tie or hers pops and yeah, y'all get the point. Next up is my Louis Vuitton six key ring holder in the Damier Abin and Man, this thing is super old. I've had this since like high school and it's held up so well, so, so well. I probably should get another one because it is like super tarnished up here, but I mean, it's 
I guess in really great condition because I could still use it after all of these years. I mean, well over 10 years. I feel like this is one of the pieces that a lot of people should have because especially when you like designer handbags and you have leather handbags, it really does protect the keys from like scratching up and dinging and messing up the inside of your bags. So I really feel like this is almost a necessity if you have designer handbags or leather handbags or handbags that you love and you know, you wanna take care of. This will help you tremendously because everybody carries around keys. And next up is my full-size Louis Vuitton wallet. This is the Joey, I believe. Um, somebody else was like, no, it's the Koala, but my Louis Vuitton essay was like, no, it's definitely the Joey. The Koala looks similar, but this is the Joey. I don't remember which one. It's been really, really old. And my mom got this for me, like I, get, like I said, like in high school. It's a full-size wallet. It is pretty thick and big. And this is the last piece that's really in my Dior saddlebag. Um, I can't really fit anything else because this is just, a, it's a full size wallet. So it takes up majority of the room. Most of your room on this bag is gonna be right here because as you go up, you can't really put much up here. It was literally the two lip glosses or my lipstick and lip gloss that I shared with you guys and everything else was all down here. I could definitely fit more if I just put, you know, a card holder instead of this big wallet, which I can do. I just really honestly haven't had the time to switch wallets. I've been using this wallet for forever and a day, <laughs> it seems like. So that's just truly what's in this bag. And on this side, like I said, I usually have my iPhone in this pocket, which fits perfectly. And also I have some thinner hair ties for my daughter Jordan, just, just in case. And yeah, that is everything in this saddlebag of mine. And like I said, I've been seriously just enjoying her and wearing her, especially now that she's back in. I would love to hear your feedback. What do you guys think of the Dior saddlebag? What do you think of the new re-release of them? Are you for them? Do you like them? Do you not like them? I know it's definitely not for everybody because it's not your typical like classic design. And it is definitely not for everyone, but I, I really love it and I don't see myself ever getting rid of this bag. All right, and that is what it looks. I put everything else back in there. This is what it looks like. Doesn't bulge or anything. And I love the weight of the bag. It's really such a lightweight bag. Of course, when you put stuff in there, it will start to fill. Um, but still, even then, it's just a great bag. It's very, very comfortable as well. So. This is my bag, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Please subscribe if you haven't already and enjoy these types of videos. I love doing what's in my bag videos, um, designer hauls, non-designer hauls, affordable hauls. I do all sorts of things on this channel, and I would love for you to stick around. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. 